We're hitting the road again, continuing our search for the best food in our favorite college towns. Around every corner, all new adventures and places we can really sink our teeth into. Is this a one way? <laughs> cheese, glorious cheese, on this episode of Campus Eats. We make our way to Minnesota. Tell me the art, the magic of the Red Cow grilled cheese. Michigan's French onion burger. See those juices? Oh boy. Homemade mozzarella in Maryland. Holy mo. And a Wisconsin cheese plate that is, well, very, very good. Eye. Students, locals, visitors. It doesn't matter who you root for. Because everyone is a fan of good food. I'm Jenny Dell. And I'm Troy Johnson. This is Campus Eats. Season four. Another beautiful day on campus. Wait, stop. Troy, we haven't even walked that far. Yeah, but this is important. The powers that be have finally let us do an entire episode of cheese. This may be the crowning achievement of Campus seats. Yeah, and cheese could be the main course of this show. Big Ten Country has some of the greatest cheese in all of the United States. From the gloriousness of the cheese sandwich to the insane cheese plate, we have finally reached the promised land. Now, can we go? Oh, yeah. You can throw the words three cheese in front of anything and I'll eat it. Three cheese ravioli, three cheese pizza, three cheese month old bagel. We are evolutionarily programmed to love and crave melted cheese. Scientists found that our brains turn on whenever we taste it because back in the day there wasn't that much food. So every time you taste cheese, you're basically tasting survival. I don't know how many hopes and dreams I have, but I'm fairly certain a cheese episode is all of them. Hamburgers, good. Cheeseburgers, much better. That's because melted cheese is just a pretty good reason to exist. The ultimate show of that molten magic is, of course, the grilled cheese. Here at the University of Minnesota, the speedy kitchen at Red Cow cranks out a doozy. Running one of the busiest cheeseburger joints in Minnesota is no small feat. But luckily for the Red Cow, they've got former NASCAR pit crew member Luke Shimp behind the wheel. What were some of your great moments in auto racing? Winning the championship in 2000 was, uh, was probably the culmination, the pinnacle of, of what you do. You're working as a team week in, week out. How did you transition from auto racing to restaurants? When I was getting out of NASCAR, my sister talked me into moving home. So I got into the restaurant biz and knew nothing about it. You know, using some of the things I learned in racing, we came up with Red Cow brand, and here we are. It's all about people. If you don't have great people, you can't actually be great. I mean, come on, you got a kitchen run like a NASCAR pit crew. So the Red Cow sets the pace, making them the go-to spot for pre or post-game grub. Game days are huge for us. It just goes crazy. You just see people in their maroon and gold. It's exhilarating. It's energy, it's buzz. My wife's a U of M alumni. She's a gopher. And nothing gets these gophers going like the Red Cow's award-winning cheeseburger, which has landed them in the winner's circle on more than one occasion. Great burgers start with great cheese. Where are you getting yours from? We get a majority of our cheeses from Wisconsin. Cheese is a key component to all food. And that grilled cheese with the three cheeses on it, nothing better. Tell me the art, the magic of yeah. the Red Cow grilled cheese. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna start out with sourdough. We're gonna load this thing up with butter. And we're gonna hit it with our cheeses. So this is a sharp Wisconsin cheddar. It's got that zing, it's got that classic cheesy flavor. And we're gonna go to Gruyere. Gruyere's got that kind of funky, nutty taste to it. It's like a Swiss cheese without the holes. We're gonna add a little smoke to it. This is a smoked Gouda. So we've got sharp, we've got smoky, and we got funky. Remember when you were a little kid, your mom gave you a sandwich and some chips? What'd you do with chips? Put it right on the sandwich. I put right? it right on the sandwich. So here we go. So we've got some barbecue chips. We're gonna load those right up on the sandwich like that. And then we just give it a little smash. We've got a rustic tomato soup. Make this in-house. I mean, truthfully, nothing goes better with a grilled cheese than a cup of soup, right? 
All right, so you got that cheddar down there, you got a little bit of Swiss in the middle, and then you got some Dutch Netherlands with the Gouda. The, the chips are in there. You notice the chips just sink into that Gruyere. Oh, yeah. Hey, no, don't eat it yet. We're not ready. Uh oh. Take your spoon. <laughs> hey, hey, right here. Cheers to you, bro. Right of that thing. <laughs> We're doing it right, all right? You just dunk it in, and if you get enough on there, you ain't gonna need that spoon ever again. <laughs> and that is the way you do it. I mean, you do a little dunkable, right? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, man. I mean, look, if you're at the University of Minnesota, you're a college student, you're missing yeah. your parents. This is just like the meal that your mom would send you to school with. The Midwest is cheese country. It's basically an essential food group for the Big Ten. And Red Cow's buttered and griddled triple cheese barbecue potato chip treat? That is some grade A gopher bait. Ahead, we sit with a Maryland legend. I'm a pizza lover, I guess. <laughs> and a pizza's a lover of me, too. 